welcome viewers in this video we'll see the balanced star connection details of balanced star connection relation between lion and phase values of voltage and current subscribe the channel for more videos and notification soft copy of this material available in the drive link is given in the description box now we'll go to the topic balanced star connection relation between voltage and current for both lion and phase values first you will see the star connection if the star in the star connection the similar ends either start or finish of the three windings are connected to a common point called a star point or neutral point right either start or end of the all three phases are connected together to make a common point that is called a star or neutral point now refer the diagram So this is the three phases available R, Y, B. This is called a line. This is three phases available R phase, Y phase and B phase. This in this the one end is connected together. R phase, B phase, Y phase one end is connected together that is called a common point either otherwise star point or neutral point. Right. The other ends are taken out. These are the other ends are available. R phase, Y phase and B phase. Right. Now we will refer the line voltage and phase voltage. So here this side is called a line voltage or line current. Here inside the phase is called a phase voltage or phase current. Right. V R Y is the line voltage between R phase and Y phase. V Y B, y -B is the line voltage between Y and the phase Y and phase B. V B R is the line voltage between this R phase and B phase, right? So, V R Y, V Y B, V B R are the line voltage between the phases. Then I R line, the current flowing from the R phase is called I R line, this is called a line current. Similarly, current flowing through the R Y is I Y line, current flowing through the B phase is I B line, right? So, these three are line voltage, these three are line current this line current is going to the phase. So, the phase current also equal. Line current and phase current are equal. IR phase. Current flowing through the R phase is IR phase. This IR line is equal to IR phase. Both the currents are equal. Line current is equal to phase current. Similarly, this IY line is equal to IY phase. Then, IB line is equal to IB phase. Both the line current and phase currents are equal. Then what about the voltage? This is the line voltage V R Y. See R phase is connected here and Y phase is connected here. Right. So this V R Y is the vector sum of vector difference of R phase and Y phase. V R phase and V Y phase. Right. Because in between R and Y two phases are available. R phase as well as Y phase. Right. So V R Y is the vector difference of V R phase voltage and V Y phase voltage because the current directions are opposite. So one voltage is positive, another voltage is negative. So that we are referring the phase difference of. Similarly, this V Y B V Y B is connected between Y phase and B phase. So V Y B is the vector difference of V Y phase and V B phase. Similarly, V B R connected between B and R, right? Connected between B and R phase. So, that is the vector difference of B phase and R phase. Right. So, in the star connection, it is important that lion current is equal to phase current. Lion voltage is vector sum of vector difference of phase voltage. That is the important relation we come to know. Lion current is equal to phase current. Lion voltage is vector difference of phase voltage. So, based on that, we can go for the further relation between current and voltage. So that first we will refer the line voltage V R Y V B R V B Y. The voltage between R and Y phase. Voltage between B and R phase. Voltage between B and Y phase. Both are equal because it is the balanced system. That is equal to V R. Commonly we will have line voltage. Right. So voltage across the phases commonly we will take it as V L. Then phase current. Phase voltage V R phase is equal to V Y phase equal to V B phase. Right. The R, the phase voltage of 
uh, R, the phase voltage of the R, phase voltage of Y, phase voltage of B, all are equal. Generally, it is taken as V phase. Right. Similarly, line current, IR line, IY line equal to IB line. All the line currents are equal. In general, it is termed as I line. Then, phase current, IR, phase current of IR, phase current of IY, phase current of IB, all are equal. That is equal to I phase. Right. So, because of balanced system, the line currents across all the phases are equal, taken as VL. Phase voltage of all the phases are equal, taken as V phase. Line current of all the phases are equal, so it is taken as I line. Phase current of all the phases are equal, it is I phase. With this assumption, we will go to the relation between line and phase, phase current. We already discussed the currents are equal. Line current equal to phase current. The line current of R phase equal to phase current of R phase. Both are equal. Similarly, Y phase, line current equal to phase current. B phase, line current equal to phase current. So, generally we can take IL equal to I phase. Line current equal to phase current. Right? So, in the star connection, line current is equal to the phase current. Now, we will see the voltage, line and phase voltage. So, while referring the voltage V R Y, the voltage across R phase and Y phase equal to V R phase minus V Y phase. Difference, vector difference of R phase and Y phase is V R Y, line voltage. Similarly, V Y B, line voltage equal to V Y phase minus V B phase. Because currents are opposite, so that we got negative sign. So, the vector difference between V Y phase and V B phase is V Y B. Similarly, V B R the line voltage of between the phase B and R equal to V B phase minus V R phase. So, the vector difference of B phase and R phase is V B R. Right. So, that generally we can take it as line voltage is vector difference of two phase voltages. Right. So, current is equal, line current equal to phase current. But line voltage is vector difference of two phase voltages. Right. With this relation, we can go for the phasor diagram. So, we will go to the phasor diagram. So, we already know that the line current is equal to phase current. Only the line voltage is the vector sum of the two phase voltages. Right. So, we are going to find the value of V R Y, line, line voltage between R and Y, line voltage between B and R, line voltage between Y and B. Right. We are going to find these three values. This is the vector difference. First, we will refer the phase voltage. V R phase. Opposite side minus V R phase. Then, V R. This is V Y. V Y phase. Right. Not uh, R. V Y. This is V Y phase. And opposite side minus V Y phase. Then, V B phase. Opposite side minus V B phase. All are displaced by 120 degree. V R and V Y phase is displaced by 120 degree. V Y and V B is displaced by 120 degree. V B and V R again displaced by 120 degree. Right. So, from phase voltage we are going to find the line voltage. First we are referring the phase voltage. V R minus V R. V Y minus V Y. V B minus V B. First we need to write the phase voltages both positive and negative. Now we will go to this. V R Y. V R Y is the vector sum of V R and minus V Y. Vector difference between these two. V R and V Y. Right. So, vector sum of these two is nothing but V R Y. We need to draw this line. Right. By connecting this V R and minus V Y, we got V R Y. Similarly, V B R is the vector difference of V B and V R minus V R. So, the by, by connecting these two lines, we got V B R. Similarly, V Y B is the vector difference of Y phase and B phase. That is V Y and minus V B. Right. We need to draw this diagram. So, that we got V Y B. Right. So, from phase voltage, we are calculating the line voltage. These are the phase voltages. V R phase minus V R phase. V Y phase minus V Y phase. V B phase minus V B phase. So, all the phase voltage, both positive and negatives are available. By connecting V R phase and minus V Y phase, we got V R Y, line voltage. By connecting V B and minus V R, we are getting V B R, line voltage. 
by connecting Vy and minus Vb, we got Vyb line voltage, right? So, from phase voltage, we are calculating line voltage. Now, we will refer the Vry by using the parallelogram theorem. We can find the Vry. Vry is nothing but it is the Vry is the vector difference of Vr phase and minus Vy phase. So, that Vr Vr square phase plus Vy square phase into 2 Vr phase Vy phase into cos theta. The theta is nothing but 60 degree. Here the 60 degree is nothing but A square plus B square plus 2AB cos theta. That is the formula available in the parallelogram. A square plus B square plus 2AB cos theta. Theta is here 60 degree. Now we can go for the further simplification. We already decided that the phase voltage, all the phase voltages are equal. So, generally it is termed as V phase, right, because of balance system. So, that Vr phase can be written as V phase square. Similarly, Vy phase can be written as V phase square in plus 2 into V phase into V phase. Vr phase is equal to V phase. Vy phase is also V phase because of balance system, all the voltages are equal into cos theta, right. So, we already discussed that phase voltages, all the phase voltages are equal because of balance system, generally it is termed as V phase. So, that all the voltages are replaced by V phase, right. So, that V phase square plus V phase square plus 2 into V phase into V phase cos 60 is 1 by 2. So, the 1, 2, 2 got cancelled. This become Vp square, V, V phase square. Already here V phase square available. Here one V phase, V phase square available here. V phase into V phase is V phase square. Three times available. So, three V, v phase square. While taking square root, it is root 3 into V phase. V phase square it become V phase. So, that line voltage equal to three times of phase voltage. That is the relation we got from this equation. Line current is equal to phase current. That already we got. From the parallelogram theorem by using the phasor diagram, we got that line voltage equal to root 3 times of phase voltage. So, similarly, we can find Vyb and Vb are also root 3 times of V phase, right. Here we calculated only Vry, while calculating Vyb and Vb are that also we got only root 3 v, v, v phase because everything we are replacing by V phase. So, in star connection, line voltage equal to root 3 times of phase voltage. That is the relation we got. Now, we will go to the power calculation. So, in the power calculation, P equal to V phase into I phase into cos pi. Similarly, three phases. This is for R phase, Y phase, B phase. Because of balance system, we have only phase voltage and phase current. So, three times available, 3 VPH, IPH into cos pi. Phase voltage, line voltage into cos pi. This line voltage and phase voltages are equal. So, that we can replace phase current by line current. But this phase voltage equal to VL by root 3, right. So, that line voltage equal to root 3 times of phase voltage. So, phase voltage equal to line voltage divided by root 3. This root 3 will come in the denominator. Phase voltage equal to line voltage divided by root 3. Phase voltage equal to line voltage divided by root 3, right. Now, phase voltage is replaced, phase current also replace. This 3 is written root 3 into root 3 for simplification purpose. Root 3 into root 3 is again 3 only. So, Vl by root 3, Il cos pi. This root 3, root 3 got cancelled. 1 root 3 got cancelled. So, we have only root 3, Vl, Il cos pi. So, the power in the 3 phase balanced star connection is root 3, Vl, Il cos pi. So, in this video, we discuss the star connection, balanced star connection, the diagram. What is the relation between current and voltage? The current is equal, line current equal to phase current. Will, will, while analyzing the voltage using the phasor diagram and parallelogram equation, we got that line voltage equal to root 3 times of phase voltage. From that, we calculated the power also. Power is root 3 VLIL cos pi. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Thank you for listening.